Man the pace! What they're going to do is a right about face, or left about, whatever works. Head in your perspective position. Now guys, we're going to stop on the outside of the gum, but you can't really do much from those positions. Just get them a little bit closer. Right to the left. Dress. We're going to slide in nice and close. Now guys, on the battlefield, we can measure the powder loosely, put the ball in. That takes a long time. We like to use these cartridges right here. All right, got my powder connected by a wooden sippo to a six-pound ball. Problem is, I fired this over and over and over again. What do I get left behind? Large debris. So our worm hook's going to pull all that out with the next man. Search pace. So the gunner in the front is going to take it, run it down the barrel, spin it a few times, pull out any large debris. Of course, once we pull out large debris, what's going to be left? Large debris. Little debris, hot embers and things like that. So Molly has a very poor job. Advanced sponge. She's going to take her sponge, dip it in a bucket of water, and start it at the muzzle of the weapon. But she can't push it down just yet. Between these two gunners in the back, there's a vent hole. If she pushes that down, all those hot embers and debris are going to come out that vent hole on top of those two gunners in the back. Would that be very nice? No. So the gunner in the back has an important job, which is to... Tent vent. She's going to take a leather-covered thumb, thumb stall, and seal that hole nice and tight. Make sure that we don't have that. And Molly's already jumping the commands. They didn't pull our sponge piece yet. We heard a command. <laughs> All right. Well, they heard something. It wasn't you, but we'll go ahead and go with that. Sponge piece. And it's done. Uh, Molly did a great job. Or she's going to do it a second time. That works. Whatever works, we're going to make sure this weapon is safe because it is your family member right next to you, right? <laughs> so now she's got that out. The weapon is safe to load. In the back here, these are our cartridge boxes, normally carried on the sides of the weapon. Do you want them next to the weapon when we're firing it? Yeah. No. No. Okay. <laughs> All those hot embers, you can imagine, that can create a small issue for your crew. So we keep them back here for safety. That's where a runner comes in. Next man. Handle cartridge. So he takes his cartridge. He's going to grab it, put it in his bag, or run it. Now imagine, this is eight pounds. He's running this back and forth every single day, especially in the hot days. So I think he did a good job. He said he's fast. I believe him. Just give him a round of applause. Yay! Ram down cartridge. Oh, you skipped one. Oh, what's charge piece? There you go. Charge piece. Gonna take it. Make sure that the powder part goes in first. Slide it. And then before we can get all the way back, Molly has a second charge. Ram down cartridge. There we go. There go. Other end of the sponge is a rammer. We're gonna take it. Slide all the way to the very bag. Make sure that this bag is seated underneath that vent hole that we cleared earlier. Now, once we got that done, we can make our fuse. Prime. So the gunner in the back has a second job. We're going to take a brass priming wire, plunge it down that vent hole. Make sure you pierce a hole into this bag. We need access to the powder. Our dad's going to open up this pouch and pull out a cartridge. Now, this is a tube of loose powder. Like a soldier, how should he open it? With what? His teeth. teeth. He's going to bite the top off, spit up to his side. Something like that. <laughs> pour some powder on the top to make our powder powder fuse, our connection. And then when he's done, he's going to toss it smartly over his shoulder. So Good job. <laughs> now, guys, the weapon is loaded. It has a fuse. Can we fire it now? No. Nah. No, why not? No, yeah, can well, There's people back behind, right? This gun could recoil up to 8 to 10 feet. Do you think these two gunners could face off with 1,400 pounds? No, we don't want to find that out. And also, if we want to hit anything, what do we need to do next? Aim it. Aim it. So we're going to take care of both of those with the next command. Take So what they're going to do is slide out from behind. And then our matrosis. Well, they said they can lift 1,400 pounds. We're going to find out. They They've got a fulcrum. Right, Jack? Yeah. So on up here, sir. Now, we want the front of the barrel pointing at that normal right there to the left. So the front needs to go to the left, the back needs to go to the right. So I want you to say trails right and to say halt when they're on target. Trails right. So they're going to pick it up to their hips. They're going to go that way till he says halt. Halt. Down trail? There you go. Let's see Pretty good. So you're going to come on over with me, and then those two gunners are going to slide over to the fence because it does recoil 8 to 10 feet. Once again, they could get hit by it as well. All right, now, audience, the weapon is loaded. The gunners in the back are out of the way, and it's aimed. Can we now fire it? No. Yeah. Yes. Does yeah. anybody know Molly or the other gunner up front? You care about them? Yeah. No? Yes. No. Oh, maybe. Okay, well, let's oh, no. go ahead and check to make sure you guys are okay with this. Molly and 